Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up, guys? So here is the little uh, gourd that I made before. I want to put some eyes and a mouth on this because I wanted to do a tutorial on teeth. Uh, so I figured I might as well do a tutorial on how I would um, sort of process this thing. So right now it's still it's still a sphere in a radial. So the first thing you want to do is I want to venture. Uh, venture. I've been doing so much stuff on my credit card. I think I have like credit card and rental car stuff on the brain. So I need to voxel remesh uh, all of these together. So let's just take this, this radial and validate it. So now this radial is now the gourd. Gourd. And this is the, we'll just call it gourd stem. So we'll take the gourd and we need to voxel remesh it together. So voxel, we can remesh it at like, let's go high. Let's remesh it at like 300. So now that we remeshed it, now it's just one piece. So all these are together. I actually don't mind those, some of those uh, little areas in between. I can probably turn post-process off and turn this stuff down and kind of ease up on the system. So you can smooth out if there's any parts you need to smooth out, but I actually don't mind that little bit of texture. I think it looks actually good. I might actually put more texture on it. But, so let's look at the front. Let's do mask. So there we go. We can turn on symmetry. Let's make sure that it's the X symmetry. Okay. And let's do show line so we can see the line, the symmetry line. So now we just want to make a mouth. And I'm not on low power mode, so, oops. What in the world? So I know that the screen is going to go off on me soon. we go so now we have like a decent mouth uh, I don't think I want it any bigger than that as I proceed to make it bigger you can do unmask to try to go in close so I can just kind of clean this up a bit I like that mouth. I think that looks good. So now let's go ahead and invert this. And we can use our gizmo. And then we can... Uh-oh. Looks like it went through the back. So let me squeeze it together. And push it back a little bit. Ugh. That's weird. It's not supposed to do that. So I'm going to push it back further and I want to see if I can use this to bring those spikes back in. Which kind of worked. I just used the stretchy thing to like bring the spikes in. And that seems to have worked. So I think that looks good. So now we can go ahead and clear this mask and see what we've got. Looks great. My box will remesh it again to try and solidify some of those lines and then smooth out inside. Go a little gentle here so I don't lose too much detail. Okay, looks good. 
If you want, you can take crease and you can take symmetry off. If you want to make those like little mouth creases a little more prominent, you can do that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, let me smooth under there a little bit. All right, so now, um, I guess I should do some eyes. But I don't really know how to do eyes. I might do them the same way. It's tricky. I could use the mask and just let's draw some eyes and see what we'd like better. I actually like that. The idea of that. Kind of like that. Let's go ahead and use that. So I'm going to do invert and I'll use the gizmo and push it back. Maybe not that far. Maybe squeeze it together a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and invert this. Or not invert it, just clear it. That looks good. And we can lightly smooth this part out if you want. Our symmetry's on, so we only have to do one side. And we can, maybe we want to add like a nose type thing. Like maybe just like. little extra here so that it kind of looks like a nose I like that it might even be nice to like open this up a little bit Actually, it might be nice to push this part down. But, yeah, I think that looks fine. I don't think I want to flatten this, but let me give it a shot. Sometimes a nice flatten on the edge. Oh, also, I am using a color. So this is a color. Because in the in the other thing, in the other tutorial, I was using matte cap. But now I just have a color. I'm using this terracotta color. And the whole thing is subsurface. And the depth is 0 0.149. So it's a little, it's a little different. Because I had set the lighting and stuff like that. So. so teeth. So here, teeth is super easy to do in Nomad Sculpt. So I'm going to hit add, add a sphere. And this sphere is going to be our two front teeth. So here you can see our tooth sphere. We're gonna take this blue sphere and we're going to shrink it like that. The orange ring and shrink it like this. It looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna take the gizmo and do mirror. So if you'll see on your scene now, you have the sphere and you have a mirror here. So I'm just gonna Tap on the red mirror and just rename it Teeth. And this too, why not? I'll just put Teeth. So now we can use the gizmo and move the two front teeth kind of separately like this. So now you have two front teeth. You might want to squash them a little bit depending on how much you want in the middle. You can kind of stretch them. You can move them more inward like that. 
So there's lots of things you can do. What I like to do is put them in their location. Stretch this out a little bit. So put them in there at that general location and also spin using this green ring right here. Spin it like that. Because the teeth should be in like a semicircle. And you can make them smaller if you want, move them closer together. Just be careful if you move them too close, you don't want that. Also, another thing that I like to do, so I'm going to validate this. What it does is it validates uh, the two teeth. They're still in the mirror. It just validates the teeth so you can use all the other tools. So now I like to take flatten. You can hit solo down here. And you can flatten the bottom part. Like that. So it gives them a nice, like, gives the bottom part a little bit more toothy kind of look. You can take move. And make sure symmetry is not on. And you can kind of move them as well. Like, so you want them to be more like that, which I think looks pretty good. So you have a lot of leeway for the teeth. So you can take these teeth, you can clone it. And now you have two more. So you can use gizmo, but they're still separate. So now you can move them into place. I usually move them over like that. And then you twist. Oops, is that the wrong way? Yeah. So then you twist them again. And maybe they're a little bit too, you can only take it off of a line. Maybe you want them a little kind of shrinky like that. You can sort of turn it if you want it on a little bit of an angle. You can make them however you want really, but this is just, you know, how easy it is to make teeth. I love making teeth in Nomad. So now you have those, you can clone those, and then you can just do the same thing. You can use a line, it's easy, a line, it just, this will always be the front with a line. That's the only difference. If you don't have a line, then it's going to align like with the tooth. So if you move the tooth, you move the gizmo. Sometimes it's easier to just have the gizmo at a set place that doesn't move. Okay, so now we have another teeth, another tooth back here. Maybe this one is just like a regular kind of toothy situation. Kind of angle it, maybe a little more in, maybe a little more turned, and maybe touching these teeth as well. So we'll do something like that. And if it, if it could be a little bit too realistic, maybe you only want um, these teeth. So maybe I'll use move and just kind of make them a little more, I don't know, cartoony or something. Whatever you want to do. them back a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now if you want to do bottom teeth, sometimes what I like to do is just, you can take all of these and clone, and then you can take these teeth, and you can just move them down. If you want, you can flip them, but sometimes you don't even really need to flip them. And just move them down and then you can just adjust them to whatever you need like if you want to make these flat like we did the other ones pull these out a little bit more I'm just using regular move tool to kind of pull and tuck the teeth and stuff like that you can take flatten and you can flatten these out just like we did the top ones. Flatten those out there. And I feel like this needs to be flattened too, this behind there. Oops. What's the best way to... Let's use clay and sub. And maybe we can just clay sub this inside of the mouth back a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. We'll just smooth this out back there. And 
maybe even move and just kind of push it up. Push that up a little bit. Looks great. Let's take another, let's add a sphere. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna do my little plump tongue situation. So I make a tongue like that. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna use mirror. Oh, I gotta make sure it's not in, already in a mirror. Oh no, it's not. So you use mirror, tap your gizmo, and you can kind of separate them, but then angle them towards each other like this. Kind of like that. I want to make them a little more... Huh? Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I turn them like this? Yeah. So we have something like that, which is a nice little plump tongue. Let me go ahead and validate that. I'm going to take the whole thing and validate it. So this will be the tongue. And as I know it's showing underneath, which you probably won't even see, but you can probably just smooth this out and it'll disappear. But you don't really need to. So it's 12.2K, so let's go ahead and just voxel remesh it together at like 150. And then smooth it. And then let's just go up here and use misc and then decimate it. Because it doesn't need to be that big. Yeah, I guess 3,000 is good. Smooth a little bit in the middle. So now we'll just move pivot, center, pivot. Now we'll just move this inside the mouth. It's a little big, we'll make it a little smaller. Maybe a little, oops, maybe a little wider. Move it down a little bit, maybe flatten it and move it back. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna take move and just push the inside of this mouth down a bit. That way I can kind of put this forward, maybe up a little bit, that looks good. You can use layer, sub, symmetry, and you can just do a layer right behind the tongue. And then you can smooth it out. So then the tongue has like a place to a place to go. It'll stretch it out a little bit since we have a little more room now. So then the place the tongue has a nice little place to sit. I don't know what I want to do for eyes. I feel like you should just have like little beady eyes. Let's add some spheres. Move one here, we'll go ahead and mirror it. Okay, let me rotate these so they look a little bit more, so they fit a little bit better. Looks good. I think that looks great. Okay, so that's pretty good for eyes. Um, we can add some lids on those. So I'm gonna take the mirror, clone it. So this one will be, let's do eye whites. Let's clone this one. This one will be lids. And this one will be P1. Whoops, didn't mean to hide it. P1, so that'll just be the pupils. We can hide the pupils. The eye whites, we can make, or not the eye whites. The lids, we can paint that color, which isn't really the right color, but it's close enough. I'll grab the color of the background, paint it. So let's make this one a little bit bigger. Let's 
So now that that's a little bigger, right front, we can trim it. So let's validate it. Join children. So now we can trim, we can trim these. Do I want to do a lower one or the, let's just see what it looks like. He just has a lower lid and no upper lid. We should do both, right? I guess we should do both. So we'll clone. This will be lid A. This will be lid B. So we just clone the sphere. And we'll hide lid B for now and just use lid A. And lid A will just trim. We can actually use the lasso. Uh, let's see, let's try this first. So that's not bad. If you want to do it like cleaner than that, you can use the polygon. Uh, polygon, let's use the spline. You just sort of like the tube tool. We'll just go like this, make this shape, make one here, and then you just have to stretch these out. And that'll just make it like cleaner. Of course I pressed the wrong, uh, <laughs> of course I pressed the wrong thing. The day, there we go. Okay, so it trimmed it, it's just, I think we can see, oh yeah, we were just seeing the other lid. So that looks okay. But you get the point. I don't know how I wanna make this lid. That didn't look right. It looked okay, but it didn't look right. Maybe we'll just do straight lid like that. And lid B, we can do the same sort of thing. Take both of these and voxel remesh them at like 140 or so. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's do pivot, center, pivot. And actually, uh, this is this will be a little weird, but let's let's trim both sides of this. Can I not trim both sides? So let's just trim both. Oops. Turn symmetry off for both of these and just trim. And it's easier because now we can just worry about this side. So we can just do uh, pivot, center, pivot. And on the, on the lower lid, we do pivot, center, pivot. So that'll just be easier. So now we can just work on these. I'm gonna move the pivot towards the back. I'm not going to make it easy. Let's move it back here and down here. Uh, the pivot just kind of, yeah, I just kind of wanted to act more like a, more like an eyelid. So that kind of worked. You can rotate it however you want it. Here's the lower one. That looks good. Maybe we need to rotate it a little bit more. So there's one, but it looks crazy without the other one. So um, let's just go ahead and clone, clone. I'll move this one underneath that one. And we can take each one of these, symmetry, make sure it's the X, world, and then here right to left, I think. That works. We'll go to this one, world, and mirror right to left. So now we have both of them, but we can kind of adjust them if we want. Oh, we have to do pivot, center, pivot. Wait a minute. Oh, 
you know you know what it does i don't know why it does that oh i think i might have figured it out so i'm gonna delete these i think when i do i think when i do mirror world right to left it just creates a new one i kind of knew that but the only problem is now they are operating as one piece. Can we separate them? Oh, you can. Okay, so that's similar to what we had before. It just makes it a little bit more confusing. So sorry if that's confusing. Hopefully it isn't. Uh, this is lid A. This is lid B. Separate. Yeah, this is real confusing. So anyway, that's one way to do it. But um, just in case that was confusing, I want to do a different way. A way that just seems more easier to me. So if you clone both of these, kind of like I just did before, I bring this back over. So I think... I'm pretty hopeful that this works. I think this is the easiest way. So then we go to symmetry and world and flip object. A, world, flip object. So now they're separate. So yeah, flip object would have been better than mirroring because mirroring adds a new one, which I kind of knew, but then I, I don't know. It's, it's always easy to get confused. But I think that's the better, the better way. So now I want to take move and I want to drag these eyelids up. Could actually just use symmetry, but they're then again they're not connected. So uh, let's see. I just don't know if I want them to be different, like slightly different. Why can't I touch this? Pivot, center, pivot. Pivot, center, pivot. Like my room is shaking from people running around next door. By people, I just mean one child. One, one child. I thought like in our lifetime of living here, that he would like grow enough and like you know when like kids they start they get like uh they start to develop some self-awareness and things like that and they start to kind of like grow up and be a little bit more like kind of quiet and less like running around like they're a toddler i don't think that seems to be happening in this situation unfortunately So anyway, let's move this down. Oh, now he looks real crazy, doesn't he? Now he looks super crazy. Let's not do that to him. I don't want to do that to him. Poor little, poor thing. Matrix, matrix, oh, that's matrix, huh? Interesting. So, let's join these, let's join these. So these bottom ones, let's see if we try to open these up a little bit more. the eyes open a bit all right I think that looks pretty good so now let's go let's make these black or is black too creepy I don't know maybe like a color like 
like that. And maybe we take the P1, the P1 spheres. Maybe those can be black or maybe they're just like a dark sort of color like this. Oh, they must be still hidden. So there's the there's a big version. Let's try little smaller eyes. I don't know how they got so let's make them circular. I feel like these should be like yellow. Maybe these should be black. Pitch black. Maybe the teeth. Oh, let's give them some sharper teeth. Let's, let's make them a little bit more prominent. Bring them forward and untwist them a little bit. Let's take these teeth move them up a little bit more maybe even up in the mouth a little bit more maybe we flatten them a little bit I feel like he does need another tooth back there I feel like I want to add some more teeth Ugh. I'm so I, I'm such a failure when it comes to short videos. <laughs> I really am. But it's just so much fun. Clone these. Move them towards the back. Open them up. Maybe shrink them a little bit. The lighting makes them look a little bit weird, and I'm not an orthographic, so that makes them look a little bit weird too. But the lighting is what I really notice. Let me angle them out this way a little bit. So now I'm going to clone these and bring them down.
Let's angle it out a little bit. Let's clone these two. Let's really, let's really go crazy here. Add some more in there. Okay, I'm gonna puff this up and I'm gonna tilt it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I do that sound, I apologize. Okay, so now let's go back here and let me see if I want to flatten. Flatten this area out. Hmm. Maybe drag and take it off of symmetry. Let's see if I can let's see if we can give a little bit of Just a little, like, difference in the, in the anatomy. I don't really like when it's completely symmetrical. That sort of bugs me. Flatten this a little bit, too. Maybe even a good, good old-fashioned pinch. good so here's the front I feel like these might need to go a little bit up I want him to be looking into your soul give a little post process Maybe the teeth, we can take the teeth and just join them for now. Oh, here's more teeth, isn't it? There's more teeth. So we'll validate and just join all these teeth together. A nice subsurface. Turn the depth down a little bit. Maybe give them like a light. Something like that, a little bit like off, but then bring the, give them a little bit of a gloss too. A little bit of teethy gloss. And you can even make the subsurface, oh, well, that color is actually good. Now these, okay, make those black. And let's see what these look like. On subsurface as well. Mm, I have to tilt. They're a little too small. They kind of get lost. Oh, I don't think the lids though. I think the lids. Let's join the lids. Those might look good. It'll get, get away from those like really dark black shadows. So I think that looks pretty good. I wonder what they would look like. They were a little, like a smidge lighter than the rest. Uh, regular color is better. But anyway, there we go. I think I'm happy with that. Let's make it a little bit darker. Let's, yeah, let's turn this light down a bit. Light two looks okay. But it's a little bit. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more coverage. Uh, that light's okay. That looks good. So it's just this main light. Maybe we can make this a little bit brighter. It looks very dark. And actually, maybe we'll change this to a spotlight. Yeah, 
And the reason why I'm changing it to a spotlight is I like the angle of that light, but it's just the sunlight it just covers so much. So if I can move, if I could have this light here and just open the spread a bit and then just make it bright on one spot, it just like will look more moody. Make it a little brighter. So now I'll bring back the environment because make it a little bit darker. So that way it's like way more of a moody of a moody piece. But I think it looks good. All right, that's it. Fun with fun with uh, fun with all this stuff. Is this a good color for that? Should I paint it? Should I make it more yellow? Or more red. Maybe we'll take some roughness out. That looks pretty good. And sometimes even with the post process you can also get a little bit more from your shadows if you need. Yeah that'll darken it inside the mouth a little bit. All right keep drawing keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. What's up guys, welcome to another 3D with Nomad Sculpt class here on Udemy. I'm Drug Free Dave. If you're brand new to Nomad Sculpt, I would suggest doing one of my beginner classes. My first two classes are geared towards beginners. I go over the basics, the very beginning if you've never used 3D, if you've never used Nomad. So those are great for absolute beginners. But if you've already done those two classes, or you're pretty much just messed around with Nomad Sculpt, then you should be good to go to follow this class. I really wanted to make something that I thought would look really good printed. Now, I don't have a printer yet. I haven't opened that can of worms yet, but I just wanted to make something that I thought would be really cool printed out, maybe even painted. Also, after this class, I'm gonna bring it into Blender. This class, we're just gonna concentrate on sculpting, getting your sculpting better, getting your character designs better. Of course, what you're seeing right now is what you'll learn. Everything that you're seeing is the class. So this is what we'll be doing. This is what you'll be learning. And this is the character that you will be finishing up with. But of course, you can change anything you want. You can change the colors. You can change the textures. You can change whatever you want. This is your character. This is your art. I'm just doing my little bit to help you on your journey to create really cool characters in Nomad Sculpt. All right. So with that being said, let's jump to the next video getting started. You win!